Hello everyone, India is bubbling with excitement. May 28th, the new grand parliament is going to be inaugurated by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So why are we here? We are here at VBC Jewellery, Bumudi Bangaru Chetti Jewellery. Why are we here? The whole world is talking about the new parliament of India, the largest and most powerful democracy. And for this new parliament, one great thing that's going to happen is the Sengol or the Golden Scepter, which is being talked about extensively across the world, not just India but across the world, was originally made by the BBC family in 1947, is going to go back to the new parliament right next to the speaker's seat where it belongs. Today, we are lucky to be with the family of the people who actually made the Sengol, which is attracting a lot of controversy as well across the world, across the world and across the waves in the air. So let us go and meet them and talk to them about the Sengol. Bumudi Balaji is the managing director of VBC Jewellery. He's a good friend and a classmate and a mate for 50 plus years. Here we go. Let's get his comments. So Balaji, we'd like everyone to hear you. The significance of the Sengol. Uh, firstly, we are very happy to be part of this historic event. So, uh, what is going to be uh, done on 28th of May uh, is, is, is a recreation of what happened in 1947. So, uh, our family was part of that historic event at that time and uh, again to be part of this uh, historic uh, uh, event taking place on 28th, we are very, very proud, very humbled and very happy about it. The uh, Sengol, as uh, you all know, uh, is called a scepter, a scepter in uh, English and, and Raja Dandam in Telugu. So it's basically a transfer of power uh, 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 from one uh, maybe king or maybe source of power to another source of power. And it's also, uh, you know, stands for righteousness and uh, it uh, is basically signifies uh, transfer of, you know, in modern terms, energy, vibrations, all the, all the good things that have happened uh, may continue to happen in the future also. That is what uh, the Sengol signifies. And it's a very popular, uh, uh, you know, uh, event that's held in, uh, it was held uh, during the Pandya and the Chola kingdoms and, and things like that. And I believe uh, this is uh, what we heard. I was not born at that time, but uh, from my parents and my uh, great-grandparents, they've said that uh, uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Nehru had approached uh, Rajaji uh, uh, to, you know, ask him what, what should be the... Uh, you know, uh, what event should take place at that time uh, so that, uh, you know, symboliz symbolizing the transfer of power. And Rajaji, uh, 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 you know, got back to the uh, Thiruvadirai uh, Adinam in uh, um, uh, Mailadudurai. And uh, that's where they had uh, suggested this uh, uh, Sengol to be uh, 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 given to, uh, 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 to be transferred uh, so that uh, it could continue uh, 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 and symbolize this, event, this beautiful uh, uh, event. So what happened was uh, the Adinam uh, contacted us and uh, my uh, grandfather and my father at that time, my father was very young. So it was designed and manufactured at our end and then uh, made and then given back to the Adinam. The Adinam then took it to uh, Delhi and then I believe the whole event took place. Uh, that is the significance of the entire uh, event. Excellent. This young man was a 13, 14 year old boy at the time of independence. He is probably one of the few people on earth alive to have seen the scepter. So let's ask Mr. Bumudi Sudhaka, who is from the Bumudi Bangari Chetty family, one of the scions of the family, to speak to us on his experience and his memories of the original Sengol. I am the third generation on the Bumudi Bangari family. By the way, the Sengol was ordered by the Dharmapura Adhinam, made by in our workshop under the supervision of my brother, Mr. Umidi Yetiraj. It took a month's time for us to make it. It was made in silver with gold plating. And the Karigars were from the south who did the work, entire work in a factory. The tradition of handing over power by transferring the single to the recipient for him to continue. And this, this is the way I believe it was done in the earlier days. Are you excited 
about going for the inauguration yeah yeah definitely <laughs> it's a lifetime this thing with my 88 years of uh, this thing i would like to go right bala you're one of the leading jewelers probably one of the best known names i'm not talking to you as a friend but as a jeweler <laughs> tell me what do you feel about this entire thing technical details for us uh, i believe uh, 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 what we heard was uh, this uh, scepter was made in silver and then gold plated and uh, scepter had uh, uh, it was embossed the designs were embossed it was completely designed and manufactured in our workshop that's what my dad and my grandparents were uh, telling us and it took almost a month to make and um, uh, it costed roughly about 15000 rupees or so that's what uh, we hear and then uh, from there uh, it went to delhi so this is uh, our role was limited to do this extent it's a 5 foot long 5 foot long. yes it's about 5 uh, feet i believe it's about 5 feet to the audience uh, if somebody had to just order that now the whole thing uh, how much would it uh, roughly cost uh, today it would probably cost about a couple of lakhs of rupees uh i don't know the exact amount we'll have to calculate and see but it can be replicated and if i said but then uh, i'm sure uh, it should not be replicated because uh, single can be only one uh, <laughs> like they say the indian flags can be many but uh, single should be only one and only one and then now it is going to be in the new parliament and that's it <laughs> no more uh, uh, you know we don't like to see any more replicas <laughs> <laughs> nice the fifth generation of vbc no mean feat that and it's so lovely to see the entire generation together here all the generations together the entire family here together what are your personal emotions we are very humbled about the whole uh, you know thing that has happened and we are very uh, proud that it's going to be placed at a very prominent place in the parliament and it's a uh, national pride for us i knew that you were very focused and you were speaking a lot of things about it you obviously doing your research your feelings like your sister what are your feelings uh, on this and any uh, nuggets of advice to other youngsters too okay so firstly i want to start off with saying we are the fifth generation and uh, we are extremely grateful to our ancestors and our forefathers to have gotten the opportunity and taken it at that point i think we are uh, reaping the benefits of it or the credit uh, to say so so uh, we are very very thankful to be part of this to see it again history repeating itself as they say so it's a very proud moment we understand or we are understanding the Sigma. value of our lineage and how much more we should be uh, respectful and grateful for the uh, whole uh, situation it's gratitude basically to our uh, lineage and i think everybody should be extremely proud of it because it's not only ours it's uh, india's uh, pride